Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be answering your questions that you asked me on TikTok. I get so many questions on TikTok. If I miss them, just comment them down below and then I'll answer it in another video. I'm sorry guys, I only have like a few minutes to do this video and then I've got an event to go to. I've got a drive there. So let's start with the first question, which is, what is it like living in Dubai? Where do you live? How much is it? And do you go to Jumeirah Beach area often? Or is that for tourists? Okay, so to answer your first question, what's it like living in Dubai? Amazing. Moving to Dubai was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I always tell people this and they're like, really? And I'm like, yes. Honestly, what you hear about Dubai, do not listen to people that say, Dubai this, Dubai that. Ask them, have you been to Dubai? Come to Dubai, experience Dubai, and then tell me how Dubai is. Once you get used to this Dubai lifestyle, you can never go back. Life in Dubai is so easy. If I want to order one potato to my house right now, I can. If I want to hire a cleaner on the app, on Just Live, I can hire a cleaner. If I want to hire a handyman, and it's so cheap. Life is so easy here. And people think Dubai is really expensive. I have saved more money living in Dubai than I ever have in England. But then again, it's not easy to compare because I was putting in like a hundred pound diesel in my car every week and I did so many miles. It's easy for young people in general. Honestly, if you want a mortgage, you can get a mortgage. It's not that hard. If you want a car, you can get a car. You can rent a car for one day via an app. That's what I did today. I love the security and safety of life in Dubai. Honestly, I would not trade it for anything else. I cannot imagine myself in any other country. Yeah, I'm so happy. I feel like there was just something missing in my life. There was something missing in my heart. And this is going to sound really deep. As soon as I just landed in Dubai, I knew it was the right decision. I was second guessing myself literally as I was on the way to the flight moving here nearly two years ago. I was like, oh, is this the right decision? And then as soon as I landed in Dubai and felt the hot air and I smelled the oud, I was like, yeah, I just, the peace in my heart that I was looking for was filled. All my worries was gone. I just love Dubai. Even when I'm in a different country, I miss Dubai. Sometimes when I'm on layovers, I'm like, oh man, I miss Dubai. I just love it. I love it here, guys. I love it. A lot of people didn't know that I'd actually moved to Dubai and they was messaging me like, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? And I was like, never. Even people who think they go back after a year or two, everyone says a year or two, it ends up being 10 years or forever. Everyone says it. And then you end up being stuck because you just love it. It's so safe here. All the videos and stuff you see online of people leaving their phones and their bags, it's true. Guys, we don't lock our cars. We don't lock our houses. It's so safe. It's a joke. So, so safe. But when I say it's so safe, I'm talking about Dubai. There's some places outside of Dubai and my friend has had stuff taken out of his car because he was used to the safety of Dubai. Don't be so comfortable in this bubble. I'm still fully aware of how scary and dangerous the world is when I go to other countries. I'm literally far and out of sight, no designer, no jewellery, no nothing. Just because Dubai is safe doesn't mean the world is safe. Yeah, don't forget how unsafe the world is once your footsteps out of Dubai. That's one thing I will say. Where do you live? So I don't want to say exactly where I live, you know. I've had a stalker before, I don't want that to happen again. That story time is on my TikTok. I live near Silicon Oasis. That's what I will say. I really like my area. I love my apartment. I was really struggling, to be honest, to find an apartment that was just modern and nice and my style. I was looking at apartments and they were just so ghetto and so ugly. I found this one, alhamdulillah, I'm really happy. I don't really like to be in the center of all of, all of the hustle and bustle. Even where I used to live before, I did like it actually because it has like Alberari next to it. It has like cute things and restaurants and tennis and horse riding and now I still have horse riding near me and I'm not too far from where I used to live but yeah I used to live near Albarari before and I do love Albarari one day I'll go back there inshallah but yeah how much is it so right now it's quite expensive in Dubai but compared to London prices it's still cheap in comparison I would say you're looking at around 48k 50k a year in dirhams for an apartment like a one bed it depends where obviously where what you're looking for what size a studio i did see a studio where i used to live for 35k a year dirhams but i was like nah i cannot live in a studio me i have so much stuff literally only just got rid of lots of stuff because i'm done now i'm done with all of this rubbish 
clogging up like and clothes that I don't even wear so do you go to Jumeirah Beach area often or is that for tourists it's not just for tourists I love JBR I love the beach I just don't go as much because I feel like I did that all of my first year when I lived in Dubai now you know I'm being a domesticated babe cooking and cleaning etc etc so yeah I mean if my friends wanted to go I'd still go why not it's not just for tourists but how was your first flight experience and have you experienced a heartbreak on the way to catch a flight and is it the same so how was my first flight experience it was amazing everyone was so nice to me it was zurich oh it was amazing guys it was hot and sunny it was so good i went to aldi and i bought this huge towel that i still have this beach towel oh beautiful country by the way it, that was my first time in switzerland have you experienced heartbreak on the way to catch a flight and is it the same you know what operating a flight when you're going through a situation actually helps so much because you talk to people and then you kind of get it off your chest and you're working so it's not really on your mind you know you're forced to forget about it so i wouldn't say i've ever been heartbroken to be honest i've never been heartbroken in dubai i stopped entertaining men a very long time ago and stopped taking men seriously a very long time ago but that's a video for another day and i'd advise everyone who wants to level up in life to just halas, stop talking to guys focus on yourself the one thing i will say that my friend told me before i even knew i was moving to dubai he said to me maya focus on yourself because i was just always in stupid situationships that was getting me nowhere so i didn't know where i was going and he and he knew he was one of the only people who knew that i was moving abroad and he was suggesting barcelona because i was going to do modeling full-time in barcelona but i ended up coming to dubai instead and i'm happy with my decision this decision made a lot more sense and i'm very happy he said to me focus on yourself for three years get your money up graft grind mode work hard get your apartment get the car you want and to be honest at the time i already had the car i wanted but now there's another car that I want. Yeah, and his advice really worked. I can't say that I listened straight away because I was young. He also said to me, like, you think you're experienced and mature, wait until you're 25, wait until you're 26, then you will feel like you know everything. And he said, even at my age, I feel like I know everything, but you don't, like, you learn more as life goes on. And it's so true. I used to think I knew everything when I was 20, 21. Oh my God, looking back now, I knew nothing. Yes, I was mature for my age, but no. The prefrontal cortex is prefrontal cortexing when you hit 24. Oh my God, the change. And I used to ask used to ask everyone who was 24 and above, did you feel this change that everyone talks about when you get to 24? I felt it. As I was turning 24, I felt it. Oh my God. Guys, it's like an epiphany. It's like an epiphany. I don't know if it's the same for boys, but for me, I definitely experienced it. And I would advise everyone to stick to that advice if you feel like dating is getting you nowhere you're just in the same circle of rubbish stupid foolish situationships hala stop stop dating focus on yourself grind mode and get what you want to achieve in life because no one's going to do it for you no one's going to spoon feed you i'm so sorry if you're anything like me and no one is there to give you handouts or there's no one you can you can go to in case anything happens it's all on you then I'm sorry, but you have to graft in this life and you have to go and grab what you want with both hands. And what's written is written and, and God will support you, inshallah. Honestly, you have to take life for what it is. You can't expect anyone to do anything for you. Don't expect anything from anyone. Go and achieve your goals. And once you start to see what you want in life happening and you're making things happen, you will forget about guys, trust me when you're as your success grows and you realize how happy you are alone you're going to soon forget about guys these dusty guys leave them leave them in the bin where they belong anyway back to the question i'm not i've never had like heartbreak on the way to a flight but i have had a situation where this guy i found a pair of dirty underwear in this guy's drawers and yeah i was a bit shell-shocked and then i went on the flight and then i came back home it was singapore came back and yeah i was happy all good in the hood forgot about him within one day lol actually within a few hours literally didn't literally couldn't care less to be honest if anything i need an excuse to throw him in the bin anyways that story time is also on my tiktok if you want to watch that 
could not care less for guys since I moved to Dubai. When I was younger, I really wanted to get married. And people laugh when I say when I was younger. I know I'm still young, but when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I really wanted to settle down, have a baby, really young, straight out of, fresh out of uni, I wanted to, wanted to get engaged, get married, have a baby. Now I'm the complete opposite. Now I'm like, no, no, no. I'm getting what I want in life. I'm traveling the world. Once I'm finished traveling the world and getting what I want out of life and living my life, then I'll bring a kid into my life. And I love babies. And I still would get engaged and married to the right person, but I'm not in any rush. And like I said before, could not care less. Bye. Until Mr. Right comes, he can come. I'm not looking for anyone. Is it the same? No, so it's not the same. Heartbreak flying and not flying is not the same. So yeah, book a flight. If you're heartbroken, book a flight. Why not? Go to Brazil. You won't come back heartbroken if you go to Brazil. I can tell you that for free. You'll find yourself a nice, lovely Brazilian boy. How's dating life as a cabin crew? It's shocking. Don't bother. Is there bullying when working as a crew? I wouldn't say bullying. Like, you might get you might have people you don't get on with but it's like it's actually good because you'll never see them again in your life like once the flight's done it's done so i love that personally because i feel like in a nine to five job or in retail you'll be working with someone and you have to go in the next day you see their face go in the day after you see in their face oh it's annoying does your skin get hydrated when flying a lot yes but i have dry skin anyway so i just try to slather on moisturizer as much as I can. Love Nivea. Sometimes I'm naughty and I dry my skin out with like exfoliants. I just hope that I will never be on the same flight as you. That is so, so naughty. And you trolls, I need to go in the bin. What are you mixed with? I'm half Egyptian, half English. What camera do you use? I am using the Canon G7X Mark II. But on for TikToks, I just use my phone. And I'm so sorry, guys, I lost the other questions. I'm so sorry. But yeah, any more questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.